Do you feel like people would still hate Jar Jar if he was brought back in an interesting way? No, I think people have circled fully around. Who's an actress you like? I don't like any actresses. Perfect. Hello, I'm Max Landis, and Bring welcome, it down. welcome to the big show. I knew this would happen. I, as always, am here to sit opposite Jenny Nicholson and fumblingly sort of like try to deal with the level of irony she achieves casually. So here we go. We're cutting all of that. <laughs> I don't care. That wasn't my intro. <laughs> welcome to the show, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about if Max Landis was in charge of the Star Wars universe. So prepare for that. Listen, okay. hey, I heard yeah. a crazy rumor. It's about Kevin Feige. Oh, Kevin Feige. People were saying, like, what if they put him in charge of the Star Wars universe, a la Marvel? Right. You know? Right. And then Kathleen Kennedy would just run, like, Disney, or she'd be, like, the Palpatine to his Darth Vader. Interesting. And um, just, like, control him like a puppet master. Well, and yeah. I was thinking, because yeah. you come up with, like, ideas for things mm -hmm. sometimes. I was like, what if that was you that was in charge? I don't know what I would do, because I, I feel well, like... Well, that's, that's the episode. <laughs> I feel like the franchising level that Star Wars is at right now is so tightly brand controlled, has so much writing on it, mm -hmm. that that is the ant antithesis of how I like to work. Well... <laughs> Get used to it. So as it uh, already happened. As you who are putting me in charge of mm -hmm. this. I'm Kathleen Kennedy. Hello. <laughs> I'm Kathleen. Tell what? me, Max, what do you have today? Honestly, I think the most exciting thing you could possibly do with Star Wars is use the expanded universe elements without actually using much of the expanded universe canon to tell individual parceled stories okay. that had deep emotional and character depth. You wouldn't do you wouldn't do Kotor? You would stay away from Kotor? Kotor? Oh, sorry. Did you just I go I thought you were a Star Wars fan. Did you just go 2D? No, Knights of the Old Republic. Oh. People will just call No, it I know what Knights of the Old Republic. I know. No, I, people I don't call it that Cold War. You wouldn't use that? I'd keep it all and allow it to be the expanded universe, but I would like to tell individual stories from the universe. So you wouldn't do a past set Star Wars movie? No, I would. Do you feel like people would still hate Jar Jar if he was brought back in an interesting way? No, I think people have circled fully around um, in Star Wars Celebration this year. Uh, Hayden Christensen was there. And people were like happy to see him. They were like excited. They were like, we forgive you. <laughs> it was so heartwarming. It made me so happy. A movie I would pitch for Star Wars. Okay. Is a Jar Jar Binks movie. Okay. Set in the New Hope era. Okay. And Jar Jar's old. Mm -hmm. And I would want it to be like Logan. I would want it to that be- That would be great. And I want it to be funny. He's mm -hmm. like funny and he's still Jar Jar, but I would want it to be like, Jar Jar is a guy who's like, down on his luck, he's been kicked off of his planet because mm -hmm. he brought Palpatine into power. He also was there. He knows who Darth Vader is. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, he's witnessed the downfall of the Jedi. His attitude is miserable, and it's a redemption story about him meeting a female smuggler okay. who has a kid who found a lightsaber. Mm -hmm. And she's like, this kid's a Jedi. Uh -huh. I need to get him to safety because uh, the Empire is hunting him. Mm -hmm. You use uh, Thrawn mm -hmm. as the villain of the movie. And it's like, we've heard there's a Jedi. The trailer, because people hate Jar Jar so much, but if you did like this awesome Star Wars trailer mm -hmm. of like this little boy with a lightsaber and he doesn't know how to use the force, he's like, I'm not a Jedi, you have to listen to me. Mm -hmm. That's just what she says, because she wants to believe, because her father was yeah. a Jedi. Oh dude, what, her, what, fa what? her father was a Jedi and she's been trying to like oh, find the family you're again. you're doing the parent thing. The, uh, who's the Jen. parent? Yeah, okay. That would be a cool, individual parcel movie. And the teaser trailer is, uh, who's an actress you like? I don't like any actresses. Perfect. Okay. Uh, it's a woman who I have discovered specifically for you, Kathleen Kennedy. Oh, okay. You are gonna love her. We did one of the biggest casting calls in history. Okay. She is from New Zealand, but she can do a flawless American accent. Okay. And it's her sitting at a bar. That's good, I don't like real Americans. They gotta be from somewhere cooler. And the teaser is one shot of this woman in a bar, and she goes, you know, everybody hates you. And it's just one shot slowly pushing in on her. And she's like, everyone knows what you did. I would hate to be you. And then flip to Jar Jar at the bar like this. And he goes, mm -hmm. look at that okay. title. That's I'd good. Be like, I would okay. freak out. I, I'd, I'd be sold on that, yeah. I'd be absolutely sold on that. That is so good. A really, 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 really great Star Wars movie could be like 10 Little Indians. A group of disparate people who've never met are all invited to an island. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the island- And one of them is a man that hunts other men. No. Yeah, and he goes, I'm gonna hunt you in my jungle. It's... You're thinking of the most dangerous game. Mm -hmm. 
which would also yes. be a good Star Wars movie. Ten Little Indians is really just a really fun book because it's a great premise. And I would love to do that at like the Jedi Academy where it's 10 So someone's been corrupted by the dark side. So one of these people is corrupted but by who? the dark side, but who? Mm -hmm. and, and just, they're all kids. They're babies that are dying. Well, I don't want to do young ones. I want babies. to do like- People <laughs> love babies. that. They are- There's three. Okay, pitch. Okay. Baby geniuses, Star Wars universe, mm -hmm. same thing. No, you know what would be good at Red Herring for your story is Tell if me. they're all like three and then one right. of them's like 17. And right. you're like, it was that guy. And he's but it wasn't. Him, yeah. But he's innocent. They're like, it was the one weirdly older dude. And it was And he looks the, super it, evil. It, he's got the cloak. It was the youngest kid who can't even walk. Yeah. Because he was just force choking people from his grave. No, he has a big knife. Oh, like he actually physically overpowers yeah. people. He's been stabbing them. Okay, so tell me more about your Star Wars ideas. Do you only have the one? I'm more interested what? in your ideas. Me, Kathleen Kennedy? Yeah. You dare I'm to <laughs> ask me? She's like a witch, right? Sure. No, like a cool witch, not like a, you know, not like, oh, she's a powerful woman. Kathleen she's Kennedy a witch. is, uh, Kathleen I love Kennedy her. is not a witch. I uh, love Max her. Landis did not on a Screen Junkie show say that Kathleen Kennedy was a witch. I, I love the idea of a comedy film that's set inside of the Star Wars universe. I, hate... I think having it be Han Solo was a stupid idea. It needs to match the tone of the trilogy enough that it makes sense that it's still Han Solo. Yeah. But if it was just other characters, you could make it look like whatever you wanted. You know what would have been a cool way to do that? What? Do a young Chewbacca movie. No. No, no, I hate where that. Chewbacca is the no, lead. No, I hate it. And he, and he has I subtitles hate that. the whole movie. No. And the movie is about, and like he meets Han Solo like near the end. I don't care about Chewbacca. You don't care about Chewbacca? I, I don't like, like weirdly him. really like Chewbacca. I don't really like him. I don't like his scary man eyes coming from inside his- You don't like the human eyes yeah. staring at- Yeah, yeah. If he had big, scary, bulbous, like tennis ball eyes, I'd be You'd all for him. it. No, I would, I would love him. Are you curious about young Yoda? No. How, what are your, what's your take on Mara Jade? Because she's very divisive. I like the idea of her. Same. It really bothers me how they ended her story, where she was just another like source of tragedy for Luke. Yeah, I think that's she... super lame, and that happened to every girlfriend in Star Wars. Like all the time. I think even the idea of Luke being with a girl is kind of weird. It is a little weird. I always pictured him like a sexless monk that was like the only good Jedi that could like stick to the stuff. I have no idea what being a bad person is as defined by the Force. I know. And like what even being on the dark side gets you really? The dark side should just be the no rules party house. Yeah, the no rules party house. Yeah. But that should also they should have the called side. it that. The no rules party house. If someone says want to join the dark side, you're going to be like, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Like, that sounds evil. Dude, no. So, you say that, but so many 13 year olds living, on, right. like, living on like, their Dantoine blog is called like, Welcome to the Dark Welcome Side. Welcome to the Dark Side. Yeah. And like, play with being on the dark side, but never really do it. Mm -hmm. They just talk about it. Yeah. As me, Kathleen Kennedy, I'm super concerned because yeah. uh, we need crossover potential. Like, remember, this isn't one movie. This is an expanded universe a la Marvel. One of the things that really confused me mm -hmm. was the station of the New Order versus the Resistance. Yeah. I didn't understand what the polit political dynamics were of the They galaxy. hate each other. Right, but they're like, is it one terrorist group fighting another terrorist group inside of a larger framework of diverse cultures? Or is there a republic? A yeah, it doesn't republic? make any sense. Yeah, I Because there is a republic, but the Resistance is not part of that. So one of the big crossover things mm. that I thought would have been really cool is not to have skipped it. You're at Luke's Jedi Temple. Rey is a girl from like a poor planet, doesn't mm -hmm. really know who her parents are, but in the opening of the movie like stands up to some mother who are bullying, uh, bullying her mm -hmm. and Luke is like, I think you're a Jedi. And she's like, I'm absolutely not. <laughs> you are crazy. And he's like, I think you're a Jedi. Well, why don't you just come with me? And then it's this incredible movie where you go with Luke to the Jedi temple and she starts to train to become a Jedi. And there's the New Republic and everything is peaceful and great. So you get to see it fall apart. You get to see First it fall Order apart terrorist for three group. movies. Yeah. And like First Order Which is what they should have done the prequels and they didn't, so. I never really understood what was going on in The Force Awakens. When I watched that movie, excited out of my mind at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. at the Grove. I like wasn't sure who the First Order was or who was important in the movie. Or... I, I got all that. I you understood got all that, it. But you took it like a, you and I watch movies similarly and differently mm -hmm. because you were down, your criticisms you've made of Force Awakens stem from the fact that you were enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Force Awakens is not a bad movie. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's a willfulness to engage with it and it was just too fast for me and I never found my feet. And then by the time the movie ended, I was like, how did she know how to do a mind trick? 
How did she pull the lightsaber? And that's where the Mary Sue thing... It makes sense, man. It makes sense, man. It doesn't make sense. It does. But the thing that came out two weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. I'd heard it before. Wait, what thing? What? The thing that there's there was no plan. The oh, thing, yeah. The thing that every director was allowed to completely do their own thing. Mm -hmm. So during the Mary Sue controversy, everyone was yelling at me that it's a trilogy. You have to watch it like a TV show. They know where they're going. And mm -hmm. people would write me long things about that. I mean, that's still the case. Except for now it's working backwards. Because that yeah. means during those flashbacks and stuff... They were just spitballing, like Ray definitely is someone. But it does still mean that her character is incomplete and that they can do more with her to round her out more. Right. I don't know. I, di I didn't have any issues with her character in this movie. I thought she was movie? good. In, in which The Force movie? Awakens. In Force Awakens. I, I haven't I seen did. The Last Jedi. I'm, I like, I'm sorry. I'm very curious about The Last Jedi because The Last Jedi. Me too. I think I might go see it in theaters. I, I don't know. I might yet. check it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to. Maybe. I think, I think Ryan Johnson's a great director, but I'm, I'm going to wait because I went and I saw Rogue One. Mm -hmm. And I thought Rogue oh, One. I'm so disappointed. It wasn't the movie. No, it, it was awful. It was in a, I mean, like. They're not, I say I, this every episode, literally. Every I didn't episode. say it was awful, but it, yeah, it was. The it was awful. But it was the problems I had with Force Awakens on a bigger scale. Uh huh. Those movies were similar to me, and I know they were so different to everyone else. Mm -hmm. But it, it, they everyone were... else said Rogue One was better. Did people really say that? Yeah, people say Force Awakens is just a new hope. Rogue One is a war movie for men. Is Star Wars an inherently masculine property? I think that that's kind of tied into it. I don't think it has to be, but I, I think, think that it, the guys who watch it yeah. do think like, yeah, it's a man's franchise. But that's there's it's a okay. man chat. Okay. The the thing about like having like a spunky, cool, f like female Jedi from a desert planet whose life sucks, mm -hmm. like that sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad for not liking it. You should. You should. I like it though. Yeah, but you should feel bad for liking it. No, I feel great. Oh God. Oh, I can tell. I'm gonna be in the movie theater with my BB-8 stuffed animal and Are you excited my... for it? Are you excited for it? Yeah. I like, I can't, I'm gonna wait till like someone No, I'm really excited. Who has similar taste in movies as me goes like, this is a really good no, movie. No, even if they came out with Rogue One 2 and they were just like, it's the same. I would just, I would still go to the midnight premiere and be excited. Why? Cause it's fun to be at a midnight premiere. Everybody there is like ready for the movie, they're all excited, and then people like cheer, and you're like, why are you cheering? I clapped! Rogue One! I clapped, I saw an X-Wing! You don't think that's fun to be in a room with that energy? <laughs> well, that was a great discussion about Star Wars. So, now I think it's time for you to leave. Leave? Leave. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Do I get up and go? Yes. You can leave that on, just walk as far as the cable permits you. Just kind of shuffle out of frame <laughs> and just kind of, you'll have to stoop over so you don't pull the cable, but just kind of stoop. <laughs> yeah, like that's good. <laughs> that looks so scary. Like the Baba Duke or something. <laughs> okay, now it's time to hear the audience's general grievances about the show. I need to like kill my mic because I'll laugh during this. No, you won't. I'm not, it's not a funny segment. It's okay. legitimate grievances. Okay. Okay. I should just be silent, yes. Yes, please pretend you're not there. First comment is from Abderrahman Zayan, who said, This show cured my depression. That's, I'm so happy for you. I wish that would happen to me, but um, I don't know. Maybe if I make more and more episodes and fill the void. It's a packet full of episodes about Star Wars. Okay, second comment is from Stephen Abbott who said, step one, click like. Step two, watch the video. So um, I think that was supposed to be a compliment, but I don't like knowing that the likes that I have aren't earned. So thanks for nothing, Stephen. Please um, only like the videos if you legitimately like them and don't patronize me in such a way. Next time. Okay, one more comment is from Jude Kavanaugh. It's a long comment. Hmm. It says, Jenny, you're so terrible, but we're better a little bit this week. Oh, that's good. But can't you do a serious Star Wars show instead of this nonsense? And by the way, I was glad he hit you with this car on your face. Thank the gods and say goodbye properly. Not like a three-year-old without a brain, gods damn it. Um, thank you. Um, no, wait, that was a mean comment. Um, 
don't watch any more episodes. Or if you do, just click the like button and don't leave any mean comments. Then I'll think I did a good job. That's how I earn all of my likes, apparently, Steven. Okay, that's the episode. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. You're doing it like a two-year-old without a brain. I know. He wanted me to. <laughs>